Another composition element that is often used and is a very simple one to use, it just requires a little bit of movement once in a while, all it amounts to is called framing. If I go back to this one here that we talked about earlier, on the, um, I guess I didn't talk about this earlier, but anyhow, the framing here is you, the photographer used the trees right here, these and these right here, to kind of frame the viewer's eye to look down in here to just, you know, take away some extraneous things out in the air. top here on the left side here so it brings your eye into the center of the photo or in toward the chairs there. Uh, framing on this one here is simply a matter of positioning himself getting these two trees, trees one on each side to frame the view right over here just simply framing framing your uh, field of vision so to speak. Uh, framing on this one is uh, was a, accomplished by letting this tree, all this tree overhang so that your eye really goes to this area here and here you've got a rule of thirds happening again uh, your your horizon line is right across here you've got a, your center of interest is on this third intersection point right here on this that, on that, inter, that tic-tac-toe intersection so a number of things going on but the tree frames it frames the, your view, field of vision to look at this area right here if I look at this one here uh, this one has got a number of things happening with it uh, besides having uh, the center of interest at one of the intersection points right here and you've got a horizon line here kind of a third line intersection point but the framing taking place the tree is here uh, trees here the bushes here kind of frame your field of vision again to look at this area right here so there's kind of a natural frame to your photo if I take a look at uh, this one maybe not the strongest uh, element here but even so the tree here kind of frames it so your eye stops here this tree sort of frames things a little bit not the best example but yet it does do some example of framing just draws your eye into the photo a little better um, here's another example of framing that uh, using the trees right here to frame your eye frame your field of vision and you've got a few trees up here just a little bit up here causing a frame to take place draw your attention into there.